What up, YouTube? T Moose here. Now, this whole month, from now until the 25th, I am going to be doing reviews for Christmas films. You know, because uh, this is the time of year, and I haven't really hardly done much actual reviews for, um, you know, past Christmas movies. So, on the first, I'm going to do um, my review for a Christmas film, then the second, or way leading up to the 25th, alright? So, now, here is my review for probably one of my favorite Christmas movies of all time. 1990s Home Alone. What do you, what what do you guys say about Home Alone? Home Alone is a Christmas classic, you know. The film got released all the way back in uh, 1999. It of course you had a very young Macaulay Culkin in this, who of course plays a kid who uh, ends up being left at home alone uh, by his parents, who is probably the worst parents in uh, film history. I mean, he just turned 40 this year. Yeah. Uh, Macaulay Culkin, by the way, is four years old. It's crazy to believe that. But, anyway, um... And he, his family is just, like, obnoxious. I mean, his brother is such a douchebag. Uh, I, I mean, he has some of the worst, uh... Probably some of the worst uh, families ever there. Who ends up picking on this, uh, small... Uh, on the small kid, you know? And so when he's, of course, left to home alone... Uh, his mother, of course, is portrayed by, uh, Catherine O'Hara. While his dad is portrayed by the late, uh, John Hurd. They're both pretty good. I, I'm still wondering what the heck did uh pe did Kevin's dad do to uh, afford all those uh, trips and whatnot? But that's an interesting film theory. Now, of course, uh, when uh, Kevin is of course left home alone, he at first he's really happy about him, you know, being left alone, being left alone and all that. But of course, it gets uh, to him and he ends up missing his parents in war. But while he's, of course, home alone, there are these, uh, two, um, burglars who call themselves the, uh, Wet Bandits. Of course, you have, uh, Harry portrayed by Joe Pesci, and, uh, Marv is, of course, portrayed by, uh, Dana Stern. Now, Joe Pesci, by the way, of course, um, the same year he did Goodfellas, Joe Pesci has a foul mouth, right? Believe it or not, when they were, when they actually first shot this thing, Joe Pesci is so used at cursing and all, he did not, he keep forgetting this was a kid's movie, and on set he was actually cursing, um, a little. I'm like, oh, boy, that, that's pretty funny, right? I mean, Joe Pesci is, is the man, you know? So it was always fun to see Joe Pesci in a kid's film like this, because you don't really get these tough guys in a kid's movie uh, so often, so it's pretty cool to see Joe Pesci in this. Then, of course, uh, you know, they want to, uh, they pretty much want the house, and, but they end up finding out that uh, Kevin, you know, is of course home alone, and they try to uh, think that this is just an ordinary kid. But he becomes a psychopath, and I'm not even joking. There is actually even theories suggesting that Kevin McAllister is Jigsaw. I don't know how um, where to go with that theory, but it's one of the most weirdest theories of all time. I guess they both are psychopaths. They both, uh, you know, um, create, like, traps and all that. I could probably see why. But, you know, Kevin, like, that, Kevin did not grow up to be no jigsaw. But he is pretty much a psychopath. I mean, the traps he pulls on these, uh, on the wet bandits, how on earth did the wet bandits not actually get killed is beyond me. Holy cow. I mean, uh, they get hit in the face with, uh, like, a couple of, um, paint cans. They, uh... They pretty much uh, end up falling, like, uh, there was, like, one thing where, uh, Harry, you know, gets a blowtorch in his, uh, head. There was that. I mean, this is just, they end up, you know, uh, falling off, uh, from, um, some ice. They get fucked up badly in this, in, um, Home Alone. But, hey, it's all for good fun, but, yeah, and of course you got an old guy who I thought was really, uh, cool in this. Who I guess you could say is, like, uh pretty good friends with Kevin. At first, Kevin is a little freak out by, um, by the old guy, but he turns, you know, he thinks, he ends up, uh, you know, um, being very, uh, friendly, you know, with him and all that. And he learns, uh, to, like, um, he learns to not judge a book by its cover, you know? And, of course, another really iconic line is, of course, uh, when they were watching, when, uh, Kevin, of course, was watching that, uh, dang, I forgot the actual name of the film, but, of course, you know, uh, the black and white one, um, where, uh, that, I think it's Two Angels, something like that, I can't, I can never really remember the actual, uh, title of the uh, film, 
But of course, uh, it's the iconic line of keep the change, you filthy animal, and a happy new year. That's pretty much a del how delivering are going in 2020, by the way. You know? But anyway, yeah, Home Alone, you know, it's just one of the most get it's one of the most joyous Christmas classics of all time. Directed by Christopher by Christopher Columbus, uh, written by the great John Hughes. It's just such a great one. And it was one of the most highest grossing movies of all time. It it literally stood number one in the box office for about eight weeks in a row. I mean, it stood um, number one in the box office until, I believe, early January, if I'm not mistaken. And it became one of the most highest grossing Christmas films of all time. And, of course, it spawned a sequel, which I'm actually going to review that, you know, in a separate video. And it also spawned a couple of other sequels. And Disney Plus is also doing a remake, which I... I don't know much how uh, good that remake will be, but we'll see. And McCullough Culkin, of course, he's he's went on to appear in some other great stuff, whether it's The Good Son, uh, uh, whether it's a Pawnee Monster, or uh, hey, what else is he? Oh, well, The Page Master, uh, My Girl. Yeah, uh, McCullough Culkin is the man, and I've, I've always been a fan of his, and Home Alone is definitely the film that really put Culkin on the map. You know, and heck, McCullough Culkin even scored a Golden Globe nomination for his performance in this, so that's there. And of course, the ending of Home Alone is just iconic. This movie is just the best, so if you guys never really seen the original Home Alone, give a watch, you'll enjoy it. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen, like, this may be a dumb question, but maybe there's not even many people who have seen it. Have you ever seen Home Alone? If so, what were some of your favorite parts, some of your favorite moments, you know, some of your favorite lines in it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sayo.